No, no, why don't you give it back now? I'm trying to play a toy box. This is what babies with bad behavior act like. You just, so you call them crybaby. You cannot play F and F better than me. <laughs> now she yeah. wants to get silent. Okay. Been sitting here roughly for about like. 30 minutes waiting for somebody to come meet me for dinner. Two people, co-workers. And it's always disappointing when people are not tardy. You go, out, you go out of your way to help people or make people feel good and then they don't show reciprocated by just at least being on time or you know, you go out of your way to help someone who say they need help, and they don't. When it's come time to sign the papers, and they don't want to do it, now they're having second thoughts, and then they get, and then they want to turn around and talk about how, you know, you're not helping them or you're not a part of what they're doing, and how many opportunities or how much hand walking do you, holding do you need for some? It's just like. There's just some things I just don't understand, you know. Well, when the steak gets here, I'll show you what it looks like. And the bacon. You know, this is my big thing. I like bacon at steakhouses now. Them big slabs of bacon. I don't even like pork, but pig tastes good, especially if they do it the right way. Let's see how this one tastes good. The last one I had was at Wolf Games. I see what the steak looks like too. I'm excited about that. And I shouldn't be eating steak because when I eat steak, it feels like my heart is like. Maybe it's like acid reflux or something. I don't know what that is. But I don't eat steak a lot. You know? But I haven't gone to the. You know, I'm just rambling. All right, you get it. Uh, yeah, I've been super MIA since I've. for the past month. Really haven't vlogged much or anything like that. So I, I figured, you know, every month I get like these these moments of just like, you know, I don't want to do anything, then I just want to vlog all the time. I don't know why I do that, but this is one of those moments. I just feel like vlogging. Yeah. And I'm having the time of my life in Salt Lake. Some people don't like it here. I, I don't get it. This place is like... It's not the biggest city, but it's definitely a city that when you want to have fun, people are welcoming, inviting, and the drinks aren't too strong. That always works for me. Yeah, I love Salt Lake. Salt Lake, this is, if, you, if you want to start over, or if you just like want a small, small town growing, a small city growing. This is a place to go. Look at my look at my wheels for the whole time I'm here. Ooh, they got the big truck. I have a tendency for doing something every time I vlog. Is I forget to vlog the thing that I set you up for. So I was supposed to I went to boxing, but I didn't film it. I forgot. Okay. But I have this. I used to listen to this song with Speeds Leo. It's my, this is my guy, Dr. Morgan Speeds man, on Instagram. Man, that's some good old mob deep for you, boy. Miss that kind of music, man. They don't make that no more. Havoc. Make some music like that. Easier said, right? Anyway. Damn, that workout was muy bien. I'm gonna go do some laundry. It's a day in the life in uh, Salt Lake City.
It's another day in the neighborhood. Two more weeks, or maybe like, I think 10 more days in Salt Lake City and I'm out of here. I've been watching other YouTubers and I've been seeing how they do their videos. And I realized, and this is a fault of mine, so I apologize to you all for this, it's not a mishap, but for this direction, is I started YouTube and I was making videos as cheaply and as quickly as possible. And I didn't quite put too much effort to putting the video quality first, per se. Even though it sort of is kind of quality, but it's not because I'm using my iPhone and the sound. And I, I just wanted to prove a point. And it's going into another phase where I'm realizing I do kind of want to compete with other YouTubers. I actually do want to start to like produce more higher quality videos than I could because I actually come from film production like as a professional like I do this and in YouTube I didn't invest in any cameras I mean I did this this camera and my iPhone but I didn't really invest in any lighting any sound like that. I do have sound. I did in season, I think, I think was it, if I'm not mistaken, like fall 2020, if you go on my playlist and see, like, I have a mic on and that, that helps a lot. But I haven't been doing that recently because I just want to make fast, easy, quick content. And I'm not sure if my audience is taking to that. Because the, le the level of entry for YouTube is really high these days. And um, if you're going to compete on YouTube, you got to bring the quality. And if there's one thing I know how to do is I know how to bring the quality, man. I'm starting to get this YouTube bug again. You know, I go through these place, these phases of where I want to shoot and don't want to shoot. And blah, 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 uh, I'm slowly starting to get that YouTube feel again. I just been watching YouTube videos and on my mind it's just like yo I could this is easy like and once again I admit I did not give you guys the best quality period but I feel like I'm too old to be doing pranks I feel like I'm too old to be trying to like entertain you on some like court jester type of entertaining like you know, no, no shade at any anyone like Unghetto Matthew and guys like that. And I love their content. And I literally have like seasons written out for content like that. And then like, but that's just not, it is who I am, but it's not what I'm going to show you guys because I also have a family and I, I got to think about like how my kids would perceive me or just like, where am I where where I'm going in my next levels of life and I'm not going to do business and cuz business is at the forefront of my frontal lobe of my brain and that's more important than anything to me because you know I'm halfway through my life and if I die if my business ain't right you know and all right I'm conflicted okay I'm conflicted because I could give you the funny on get a Matthew type of stuff or I could give you just like the stuff I've been giving you which is not too entertaining but I don't want to show you too much because my family life is private sort of Starbucks I did the Starbucks man I was good I once again didn't film me going to Starbucks, getting what I wanted, and drinking it. And um, sorry, I should shave. I should shave. It seems like me, along with a lot of other YouTubers, are in a creative drought. We can't figure out what to film, why. I don't know why. And you know what scares me is I think like. The YouTubers that influence me, they're not creating videos and maybe that's where the drought is coming from. You know, you have this monkey see, monkey do thing where people think they're doing something original, but all they're doing is, and me included, is we're just copying other people. We're fantasizing or romanticizing what it would be like to be in that person's shoes and we're just copying their formula. That's whack. And I'm aware of it. What I really want to talk about is what I can't talk about. 
Don't ask why. I just can't. I stick to YouTube. It's like TV. 